Hello, and welcome to my digital bonsai tree. Last time we created a place to put our stone, a byproduct of all of this mad crushing that we are doing. And let me tell you, we are crushing it. Unfortunately, we are finding out that uh, this tiny machine right here is finding itself insufficient. This wooden chest will be filled up soon. So that is something to keep an eye out. But our main goal for tomorrow is to interact with these two other ore types and maybe find some sort of centralized area so I don't have to uh, have these guys do their thing. In that spirit, I have let the intermediate machines kind of percolate, took a look at these machines, make sure that they are still running effectively. Stone brick, iron, and shove in this amount of staphorite. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with our required materials. Uh, first thing that I want to do is basically strip mine all of these ore patches on out because I do not want things to be here forever. This is a big map. Very, very large map. I want to explore. But I would feel like I am leaving something behind if I do not take up all of these resources right here. So let's go ahead and start off our strip mining of Bobmonium. This particular ore type is known for tin. And I want to try and maximize the amount of miners that are on here because at the same time they will be mining leading to this construction right here to how do I say this uh, drain out the resources from this patch as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and let our friends do some of the work for us. And once more into the breach. There. Okay. Going to go ahead and have all of these guys go, instead of directly into a machine, onto a belt where it can be fed into a machine at a later time. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that lost little guy. And boom. Here we have it. Combine all of these belts into each other. Hmm, let's have this one be a little bit further down. And we should combine these using a splitter or two. Let's go ahead and get my hot bear at the bottom a little bit more set up. Have that there. Get a couple of undergrounds, put that there, put this guy here, and utilize it immediately. Okay, so this little action that I'm doing right here ensures that uh, whatever gets fed on into it, it is going to appear on both sides of the belt relatively evenly. I'm going to go ahead and start off on research for silos, or did I already complete that one? Yes, I did already complete that one. This one is the silos big brother, the warehouse. And let's go ahead and get one or two of those made up. Uh, perhaps in a nice color. I'm going to need a couple of inserters. That one's been accomplished. <clears throat> okay. And let's see here, we've got a regular silo, and we've got the Bobmonium silo. Boom. Doesn't that look pretty? Going to set up power here and here. 
and here. And we're going to go ahead and set up our inserters to shove all of this delicious ore in. Get started on a couple more miners. And go and procure more intermediate products and raw materials while that is percolating on up. Okay. Go ahead and shove some iron up into there. Shove some more of the sapphire into here because, well, we are not generating that much copper. We are consuming a lot more iron, despite the generation that it gives. Let's go ahead and shove this up over this way so that we can make a nice little bridge here. Create bridges here, here, and create some power poles right here. Mm, just gonna go ahead and do it manually. All right, now we have all of this bottomonium coming on under here. We turn on our box and we see all of this is going to go inside of this fairly large box. Let's see here, it is running for a little bit. As you can see, it is quite slow. Uh, turns this one belt into a full belt, which then gets split up. Last inserter is being used here, last inserter is being used there. So I am quite happy with this sort of generation. Eventually gonna do that to each one of the different products. Let's see here, is this missing any? Nope. Do I still have any left? Nope. So we need to build more. Check out how that damages the power. Ah, as we can see here, that much mining does generate a lot of power drain. But that's okay. Power is not quite all too much of an issue. Our fuel line is holding on strong. The only thing stopping us is pressing a bunch of buttons. So let's go ahead and add four more. One, two, three, four. And then eight. One, one, two, three. That is doing its thing. We continue. Shove all of this crushed stone into there. And as we can see, it is not keeping up. It is not suitable. Uh, my rough math of adding more bits onto the stone machine has turned out to be slightly fallible as there is a lot of downtime uh, takes a good I forget if it's two or if it's yeah it is two stone in order to create one brick this item only creates one stone every half second crafting speed of 0.5 so this is every second not quite enough for these stone furnaces here. Let's go ahead and make sure that those are okay. That's okay. Everything's all good. Bombonium is right here. So then let's go ahead and queue up a whole bunch of miners for the next bit. Right here, we still have some iron pipe. Let's go ahead and add some more. To our thing. Okay, can turn that off there because that is an underground pipe. We do not need an underground pipe. What we need is just regular pipe. Alright, let's see here. Do I have any more coal arms? Nope. Just gonna go ahead and spot make those two. Cancel this guy so that we can get up out of here slightly faster. Okay.
one of the things that I don't quite like is that the autofill mod, uh, I'm not exactly sure which mod it is, but there is something among the jumble that I have uh, loaded on my computer here that creates logistics request for fuel. And I feel that I need to micromanage uh, what kind of fuel goes on into where slightly better than the mod maker believes it to be. Let's go ahead and work towards our next goal, which is to take this paltry, tiny amount of ore. As we can see, we have 184,000 uh, sapphorites, 189,000 rubites, fairly sizable chunk of stereotype, but that's not going to matter all too much because we're already doing so well on copper. Bobmonium has about 5k, and our only visible deposits are going to be these Cretinium guys right on down here. So let's go ahead and get the next patch done. Let's go ahead and do this one by hand. Get that fish out of my bar. I want to make sure that the green area the, that overlaps here does not overlap with that stereotype. Uh, sorting is not that big of an issue, but it is not a problem that I want to solve right at this moment. Let's see here. Yep, that one's a-okay, a-okay, a-okay. Okay, keep that going along that squiggly line there. That one's okay. I do have to shift this guy forward, this guy forward. And let's see here, shift that there, that there. These power poles are gonna have to go someplace else. And that causes something of a crisis for all of my machines. Let's go ahead and clean this up just a tiny bit. Okay, that looks nice. This looks less nice. Let's go ahead and take this on up to the front. Move these guys on into that main line push this here. We are going to get a very small amount of rubite per second, but that's a problem that we can deal with later. And we're going to do something similar to what we did for the big old box, only we're just going to have one line of inserters feed on into there. Let's see here, where is, ah, Rubite. Okay, move that there and get my inserters on over here, trim off that end. Okay, here we have our Rubite generation. Light smidge more. Uh, let's go ahead and have this enter on the other side. This one is fairly even. Well, yeah, this one is fairly even. Pass that on there and finally provide these guys power. This is going to create a buffer, and at some point in time, when I decide to deal with this rubite, I'll just have like a big old box of it at the ready. Don't have to wait for each individual piece to get made at the time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and refill my little circuit machine. Getting a good amount of those, far more than we, we can use at any given time. Clean out our little crushers. and continue along. Okay, 
can go ahead and clean these guys out to get another load of steel in. Just gonna go ahead and keep these two on reserve and put those on back. And everything is A-OK -okay again. Now I have to decide where I'm going to be primarily processing materials. I want it to be on one side of all of the mines so that I don't have to worry about it all too much anymore. And let's go ahead and harvest out this area. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Alright, so as part of my mod pack, I did receive a bunch of extra items. One is a roboport for a large construction, or I guess in this case, deconstruction process. I don't feel like being personally beholden to it, so I'm just going to go ahead and move all of this here. Stop all of this construction. and then place all of my robots into their little robo house, at which point they will work independently of me here. Let's go ahead and right click this to make it rocks and trees only, and just make ourselves a nice little landfill-y type area. Now these will need to be placed somewhere, so I'm gonna take one of my fancy boxes, just pop it down here, they're just gonna fill that little guy up with wood as I continue along my day. Let's go ahead and resolve the slight power issue. Let's see here. We're still doing okay, but I mean, I have the stuff sitting inside of my box. Sorry, I have the power generation. Oh! I have already solved that problem. Go past me. I should ask him how he's doing from about 10 minutes ago. Now from here, I want to attempt to do some sort of sorting. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the items that we have available on deck. And grab one, two, three, four. What is the limiting reactants? Is going to be stone brick and iron gear. But these machines do not need to be so large right now. Let's just go ahead and get our iron back. Try and get some iron generation going. Hmm. All right. Weird. Very weird. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these new machines that I have cooking inside of my pocket. Put them on my hot bar so I know what I am looking for. Let's take a look at the crusher. Now for bobmonium, I'm going to need two bobmonium or in. and it generates three things on out. So by definition, if you end up filling a belt with ore, you're going to receive one and a half belts of stuff, of which two thirds of that belt will be what you were looking for, one third of that belt being a byproduct. Now, I do not want to deal with this crushed stone, and we have observed from before that direct insertion is smart enough to figure out what is going on. Craft that guy on here, because this one is taking two items. What is the craft time on this? One second, two items. Hmm. What's the crafting speed? 1.5, so that's going to be more like three items per second. This is going to require slightly more than an inserter's worth. 
I can't quite remember. Let's go ahead and get that working. Let's go ahead and grab up some of the loose stone that we have set aside. And shove that into this easy bank oven. And grab this for our own purposes. We have the ore sorting facility. As we can see, it is a crafting speed of 0.75. Keep that in mind when I am doing the calculations for this. So what this is going to require is four crushed bobmonium per second. And it's going to result in these two different ores and this waste product called slag. So four things in. Four things out. This is where I am going to just like deposit them onto a belt. Take this from a belt. Get our inputs. Input. Hmm. I am remembering something right now. Well. Oh. Hmm, trying to think here. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I should do and where I should put this stone. Uh, normally, in my test games, I have had an output line go on through here, so Crush, uh, slag, tin, silicon, and stone end up shoving themselves onto this one single belt, at which point they are using these splitters with filter options. To direct each product off into its own world. But I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't have all four items on here. Maybe I can just have two. Alright, so let's go ahead and build up the shape. Finish this off with output, 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 output. I don't believe this many uh, are going to be required, but uh, I don't know the math, so I'm just going to lean on more. Shove these power poles where they need to be. Crush ammonium. All right, so this is going to be an absolutely fine machine for us to blueprint. Set this up for deconstruction. See if our little forest has been clear cut. Already we have accrued 8,000 bobmonium. Short amount of time. Large number. It's only going to get larger from here. Okay, as we can see, this whole area has been clear cut. That is nice. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to bring the bobmonium, so I'm just going to like have that go straight southbound. And come through around here. Rubite, similar southbound, come through around here. Steratite and sapphirite down over in this area. Yeah. So this one's going to come down here, and this one's going to come down even further here. And now I have a shape in my mind, I have to make it a reality. go ahead and plop this guy down here, reverse, 
where these belts are going on off to. And collect my robots, my friends. Ooh, it's quite a bit of wood. Make this slightly larger. Have a similar but mirrored construction on over this way. Beautiful. Allow my guys to pick up this little mess. Oof, just one off. Now I could just rip all of this up, take it off to the left, but mm, Matt, whatever should be using my crafting cube for some reason. Let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of power poles. I don't see myself not needing those for a while. Let's see here. I forget if I have the ability to near insert. I do not. So this, at best, is going to be a half belt, even if I do a funny little trick like this. Actually, this may be helpful. Just gonna let that first batch of ore get to its destination, clean up this belt. And see if this trickle of product can handle. what is coming on down. Ooh, almost forgot to power on my machine. Ah, I have the inserts backwards. From here, I have to separate these items on out. So, give ourselves a little bit of space. This is going to be the rightmost item, so I'm going to filter everything on off to the left. Which would be this right slag. Hmm. Go ahead and move that up just one more. Okay. This one will be stone. Make sure that is on the correct side. And this one will be sorting out tin. Where did it go? Ah, there you are. To the right. And continue along. To left. Silicon. This, strictly speaking, this uh, is not necessary, but I find myself 
constantly in fear of items not quite coming on through as they should. We're just going to go ahead and select temporary storage facilities for each of these items and allow this little guy to percolate and collect up and sort through all of the items that we need. So I'm going to have two and two, two and two, two and two, and four times four makes 16 boxes total. Uh, I'm going to need more inserters, but this particular project will not sap me. Okay. And let's see the sorting machine in action. As you can see, slag is being picked up off of the splitter, stone is being picked up off of this splitter. I am aware that it is currently unpowered. I do want to show you what happens when a particular item backs up. While that is a disaster waiting to happen, let's just not look at the train wreck directly and instead see the results a little bit later on. Get the crushed stone out of here, get all of the copper plate out of here. I am finding myself just far too full of it. So we're going to shove all of these, well, not all, but a nice majority of these into a nice box. Shove a lot of these into a nice box. I have not calculated out the ratios as to how much that was. I probably will not. So far, we've gotten about 3.7 thousand rubite ore. See how these guys are doing? They're doing great. See how these guys are doing? They're also doing great. Shove this up into there. Still have not reached the event horizon where this causes problems. It only lets you know a portent of problems. Let's make more belts inside of our belt mega machine. And it is good. The four ores that we are going to, well, the five ores that we are going to focus on are going to be, I want to say these in order, iron, copper, tin, lead, and where could glass be? Well, perhaps uh, silicon into glass? No, not quite. Where is glass? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. I just put silicon into an easy bake oven and that generates a glass that we require. Okay. head on back so as we see the bobmonium has been stalled this has been stalled you can see that stone comes in from the backside and it is just a regular pace uh, as you can see here there's space here but because the stone from up here is not able to even reach it down here because this tin is where the stopping point is then that cannot be filled at this time. Uh, same thing with the silicon. As you can see, we have space here, but because the silicon can't make it past this tin area, then it is doing nobody any good. Get ourselves some power poles on over this way and allow this machine to do what it wills and make something of a copy for ourselves A little bit further on down the line. Next item up is going to be Rubyite. I want to make sure that this is somewhat in line.
about here. These items are going to need some more boxes, some more inserter arms, some more crushers. Alright, so I already got the sorting facilities. I do need some crushers. And once these are built up, So this is going to be crushed rubite, copy, paste, and then we're going to sort this crushed rubite into varying levels of lead and nickel. These two items are not going to be as required or useful or immediately satisfactory like the bobmonium, but they are necessary for further items on down the line. So let's just go ahead and get that all started now. I am missing some inserters. Let's see what could be the limiting reactant on that. It's not wood, it's not copper cable, it is iron. I'm just fresh out. That is a shame. Let's go ahead and collect some more materials. Make sure that the rest of our factory is humming along at a sensible pace. Perhaps I don't need to check on this machine every single time. But I do need to check on this machine every single time. Alright, clean out our easy bake oven. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more iron into this business. Nice. these because I do not believe that 23 are going to make it on over. In fact, it did not. Uh, let's go ahead and flip these belts slightly around and allow Okay. These two items are going to change from their tin sorts of ways down to, oh, what was it, lead and nickel. that. There's that. Feel nice. Go ahead and get our forearms to head on out there. And here we see a fine example of a crushing and sorting machine. Yeah, that seems nice. Well, 
I appreciate it. Thank you for joining me and my digital bonsai tree. <laughs>